so what's up guys welcome to another new video tutorial today i'm going to be teaching you how to shape skin i'll be using photoshop but you can apply the same techniques to any other dry software you use and it's going to work out perfectly so i'm creating a circle for this this is going to be something simple and i'm going to show you all the steps and all the processes and how to cover skin Below my line up layer, I created a new layer which I will use to color in my flat color as the base for the skin. Above that, I created a multiplier layer for the cut shell. I clipped that down onto this flat layer. And for my multiplier, my shadows, since the light source is going to be a warm light, I'm going to use a cool color for the shadow for this I chose purple between purple and blue but the majority purple it's a multiplier layer and I'll show that again lower the opacity so it doesn't look too bright after that I selected outside the flat color because the multiplier layer I clipped it onto the flat and I need to clip something onto the multiplier layer which is this current layer called the red. It's for the subsurface scattering. I made a YouTube video about it. You can check it out in my playlist. So yeah, I selected the lasso and cut out the part of the multiplier layer which was outside the skin and did the subsurface scattering on the layer clicked to the multiplier layer called red. Above the skin layer, I created a new layer and clicked it to the skin. I called that one multiply 3D because this, as you can see, I used an airbrush at the edge of the circle. I may use that to make it look three-dimensional. I usually turn off the multiplier layer above that. That's the multiplier cast shadow, the one we did for this layer. I usually turn it off so I can know what I'm doing when I multiply 3D. It makes it look like a sphere, as you can see now it looks like a sphere. Then above that, above the highest multiplier layer, I create a new layer. It could be add, it could be normal, depends on what you want. But for this, I left it as a normal layer, though I may change it as we go. I use the warm color, yellow, but a very light so that it's towards the light end and I color in just that small part there and if you, I make up another lighting layer I can have multiple lighting layers depending on how I want it to be for this second lighting layer is to give it I use airbrush for this one to give it soft tone the best way that have the spot and this is the soft tone and I color that in Making it just look, making it look bright, the bright ends of the skin, so it looks two dimensional, even if it's a 2D object. And with that, so pretty much done with the skin. For the shadow, this is more of a bonus, but for those of you who want to for the shadow, the cast shadow on of the three dimensional sphere we just drew on the floor. This could be the shadow of the skin, for instance, the arm has the shadow of the body of the character we draw, the arm above the body, anything like that. I just use a cool shadow also since it's a warm light, reduce the opacity, and same way I did for the soft surface cutting. I select the warm color and click it to the shadow, shade at the edges. But for this, I'm playing around a little so because <clears throat> I want the shadow to not really look I wanted to have a little bit of depth to it so I made the outside look darker instead of coloring it with red instead as you can see the red direction where the light came from the shadow and with this it just gives the impression like light is like it's actually a three-dimensional object which we all know it's not uh, you know, this is pretty much it for 
how to color how to shade skin i hope you learned a thing or two from this and yeah for the subsurface cutting please check out my previous video on that and it will help it's with this same technique i was able to color this character right here if you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment the thoughts comment any parts of the video felt confusing and I'm trying my best to explain it in a future video.